Behind the clouds is the sun still shining. Thy fate is the common fate of all. Into each life some rain must fall. Hi, I'm Jacob Moran, and I wanted to start off this first nugget of the ESXi 6.7 with a little quote from Longfellow, because into every admin's life, some installs must fall. One of these days, our manager is going to come up to us and say, you know what? We're ready to move to the 6.7 platform. Get that installed for me, would you? We want to be ready and confident when that time comes. And I say that because our first order of business here in our lab environment is going to be to install three instances of ESXi in version 6.7 so that we can support all the future labs that are going to be built upon that platform. So let's get this party started and start installing ESXi 6.7. Let's get this lab started by selecting ESXi1 on the right hand side of the lab module and then clicking start and then saying yes. Okay, and we're booted. We'll click in the main screen to make sure that it's responding to our keystrokes and we'll press enter. Then we'll press F11 to accept the end user license agreement. The installers detected the 80 gig drive that is locally installed on ESXi1, so all we have to do is press enter to accept that as the default drive. We'll accept US default as the keyboard layout by pressing enter. Now we need to set up the default administrative access by defining the root password. We'll put in the lab password, you can either type it or click the password link, and then press down arrow, and then click the password link again from the lab environment. Then we'll press enter to continue. Then we'll confirm with an F11 to install. If you're thinking, man, that seemed a lot like the install for 6.5 that we did with Keith Barker. Yeah, that's because it is. And what we're going to find as we go throughout the lab environment for 6.7 is that there are a lot of things that are the same. ESXi 6.7 is more like 6.5 than it is different. We'll especially be focusing on the interface differences with the vSphere client that we'll be using down the road rather than the vSphere web client as well as some new technologies that have shown up along the way. Now that we've reached the end of the installation, over on the right-hand side of the lab environment, we can go to the DVD drive drop-down menu and select No Media to follow the instructions that are on screen, and then press Enter to reboot. And there we have it, the install is completed. By going through this hands-on lab together, you've learned how to install ESXi 6.7 and hopefully to not be afraid of the changes that might be coming down the road in 6.7 compared to 6.5 because we're going to see there's more the same than is different. Meanwhile, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.